Good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, just want to do a quick update on some of the happenings and not happenings. Uh, the piranhas are about to get fed. I need to clean the tank. The substrate is looking pretty shabby. I'm not doing this right. I'm filming the reverse. Anyway, uh, well, uh, the Oscar sustained another bite. You can't really see it, but maybe you can. It's at the top of his fin again. Yeah. Where are you? There you are. You got bit, but you know, that's nothing new here. It's living with Ranas. Moving out soon though. Um, yeah, they're about to get fed. So let's get to it. Rana habitat. Feeding time. Another thing real quick, I know I always talk about the ranas and this and that, and uh, <laughs> it seems like the red rooster is always stealing the show. So, yeah, it's no surprise because they are very personable. They're like dogs, you know? So, anywho, I'm gonna throw in some smelts I picked up from the store. Yeah, they're clean, gutted and whatnot, but at least they are wild caught, so. Good stuff, good nutrient. <laughs> like a dog, it's hilarious. He's good. First, the Asker, he's always first. Red Rooster is uh, definitely dominating the tank. So, we'll let him. The Sunfish, Lady Sunfish needs to get some. She usually manages to steal a piece. Oop, yep, Rana took that one. There's some Viranas, of course, nope. Asker took the biggest piece as usual. Mr. Alpha or Miss Alpha. I'm trying to get in there enough so everybody gets a piece. Sunfish is now just grabbing anything that's loose and bite size for her. Oh, Oscar retreated to his spot. You gotta chew that up. He always bites more than you can chew, it's hilarious. But that's his style. There we go. One more piece. Oh, look, there's one more. Here, girl. Here, lady. There she goes. That's that's for you. All right, that's the last one. So just a few smelts, wild caught smelts I bought at Walmart. Uh, not often, but sometimes you get to catch it on sale. I think I paid like six bucks for it for a bag, uh, pound worth or so. They're about seven, seven fifty or whatever. But yeah, that's a good uh, substitution when your creek is frozen and you can't get to your primary, you know, feeding uh, procedures or regimen. You gotta have options and varieties. I also have shrimp and worms and you know beef hearts and things like that that I've been giving them. Um, uh, but there it is. Ronas are full now. Hopefully, leave the rest of the community alone. Even this guy. 
Yeah, he needs to munch on. Eddie Sunfish is waiting for Red Rooster to drop more junk. More scraps so she can get a hold of it. She will. Yep. So there it is, you guys. Quick feeding and yeah, I gotta do some cleaning in here. Been working on the Oscar habitat, but that's a uh, surprise, so more to come later. Stay tuned and uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell, otherwise you'll never know if I post any videos. Hey everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm not showing off or anything, but anytime I reach into this tank, I'm soaked. So I just decided to do it uh, without a shirt for water changes. Anyway, I've been cleaning up the substrate and man, there's a lot of junk in there. I have a hard time reaching deep down unless I'm on my little stool. <laughs> anyway, I'm 5'11", but this thing is like three feet tall almost. So now it's 29 inches or whatnot. Uh, sure enough, they're all freaked out. I mean, I've been tearing into it as much as I can. The rooster doesn't seem to mind. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I still gotta clean out these stumps from all the algae. They really grow on it super quick because my lighting is, uh, I think it's a little intense. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put some kind of filter on it, so to speak, like uh, maybe tin or maybe just a netting, some kind of net, like a booty, you know? Uh, wrap it around and see if that'll help. All right, so we'll check you in a minute. Yeah. Hey, as usual, doing water changes. Uh, crayfish is out and about. <laughs> He don't care, he just loves it. All the debris to pick through. Yep, I did a little clean up and uh, now we're just gonna let it finish up changing about 50% of water this time because of the change uh, substrate clean out. But yeah, y'all, it looks much better already. Cool. All right. I made some improvements to my lighting. <laughs> Check it out, what we can see. Anyway, I positioned these paper towels basically over the uh, lights directly on them, so it's even distribution of light, but it's taken down the light in the tank probably by 20%. Hopefully this will slow down the algae growth. Yeah, just a little remedy. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's uh, doing, uh, Pretty good job so far. So uh, yeah, I'll just catch up later.